Okay, hi everyone. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and uh, do Alice Madness Returns for my first YouTube video. So no nasty comments. <laughs> but uh, basically, this is the PC version. Um, I have it set on 16x9 resolution, but a step below my native 1600x900 uh, because of the recording and because I put the physics, the NVIDIA physics setting on medium so that you get some effects because low basically is like the console version which doesn't have any physics effects. Um, also there's a few places, especially in the first chapter in the Mad Hatter's domain that really, really slow down uh, in the foundry. So I think that's the main part in the game that, that we'll see some slowdown. But anyway, as far as why doing this, it's like, well, basically because, frankly, uh, the reviews for this game have been uh, strangely low. <laughs> um, and the original game from Fall of 2000 also kind of slid under the radar. Uh, but, uh, frankly, you know, this is uh, one of the best game franchises uh, best underrated game franchises, uh, I think, in the history of gaming. Uh, so it's really a shame uh, that it's it's been missed out on or is getting looked over, uh, both the original and this one, especially if you're interested in strong heroines in games, which I am, of course. Um, so I'll be talking a little bit about the content uh, I, I will post a couple of website links for those who might be interested, but I'll say them here. Uh, one place that people might want to check out is a site called victorianweb.org. Uh, Victorian Web, one word. Uh, because that has some good academic sources on the Victorian era, economics, social economic classism, um, the uh, growth of the Industrial Revolution, and some of the unfortunate consequences, um, the status of the British Empire at that time, uh, and all sorts of other things. Um, and it's a good source, again, you know, academically. Uh, not like Wikipedia where anybody can post anything. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, the essays on it are attentive to, you know, good source citation from an academic standpoint, which is important if you want accurate information, which I do. Uh, another site uh, that you may want to check out is history-world.org, which is an international world history site. And again, it's a good academic site. Um, particularly the, the, on that site, uh, information about the growth of the Age of Reason, the Age of Enlightenment, um, and you know, due to the explosion of the scientific revolution, in the 18th century um, compared to the previous Middle Ages uh, and you know a lot of uh, a lot of social processes being based on faith and religion rather than empirical evidence but of course you know part of the thing too the growth of the age of enlightenment and the industrial revolution and the scientific revolution and the age of reason is a, a, one might say an over-dependency on the idea that everything can be engineered, everything can be known precisely and predicted, and uh, you know any any sense of chaos can be eliminated. Which, of course, in <laughs> our modern day, uh, we're, we're finally starting to realize that's not necessarily true. If you look into chaos theory and, and some other things. Um, but anyway, so those are two good sites. And then specifically for Alice, of course, uh, there's a site on Lewis Carroll, on the lewiscarroll.org, which is actually the site for the Lewis Carroll North American um, nonprofit organization, uh, which is promoting Lewis Carroll and, and his various works and information about him. Um, you can also do some other research on your own, of course, uh, about... Lewis Carroll and his uh, his you know profession, what his background was, and also you know some of the struggles that he had uh, with his own one might say inner demons because of his real genuine fascination with and love for and fixation on young girls, 
uh, which obviously would probably put him in uh, a socially outcast role today, no question about it. And some of that does come through in his original Alice books, as well as in, in the game adaptations of them. Uh, so anyway, uh, without any further ado, I guess we'll go in here and, and start. And we'll go ahead and do it on normal mode. And my gamma's pretty much already set. Uh, I'll maybe turn it up a little bit, I guess. I won't turn it up too much because it's supposed to be a dark game anyway. You know? Yeah, that's good enough. And I always play with vertical look inverted because doing it the other way just doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. <laughs> But I'm from an old school of, uh, you know, the arcades and stuff like that, so... I don't know where the other mode became normal. Because it's never been normal for me. There's a lot of accurate historical stuff in this. Um, and I'll try to comment on some things, because I've seen a lot of very, very misleading stuff. <laughs> Come now, Alice. It's only a dream. It's not a dream. It, it's a memory. And it makes me sick. Now, focus. Wait. You're floating again. Weightless. A cipher. Relax. Fire. Uh, I'm in hell. Forget it. Abandon that memory. It's unproductive. Go to Wonderland. No, Alice. Discard that delusion. Forget it. Go to Wonderland. I'd rather not, Doctor. My Wonderland's shattered. It's dead to me. Your preference doesn't signify, girl. Now, Alice, where are you? I'm sailing with a friend. Hmm. It's different somehow. Things have changed. Change is good. It's the first link in the chain of forgetting. What's happening? Are you mad? I'm not mad. Rabbit. That's not right. What's he doing? Is something wrong? Something wrong? Rob! Oh, no! Not that! Don't struggle, Alice. Let the new Wonderland emerge. Pollution. Corruption. It's killing me. Wonderland is destroyed. My mind is in ruins. Forget it, Alice. Block that dream. Wake at the sound. There, Alice. Better now, aren't we? My head's exploded and there's a steam hammer in my chest. Yes, well, the cost of forgetting is high. My memories make me vomit. What can I... Remember other things. I want to forget. Who would choose to be alone, imprisoned by their broken memories? I'll set you free, Alice. Memory is a curse more often than a blessing. So you've said many times, and... And I will say again, the past must be paid for. Now, before our next session, collect those pills from our high street chemist. Very well, Doctor. It's my turn to forget, Alice. Now, Charlie, your pa was hung for killing your ma who beat you. Let's forget that, shall we? The past is dead, Charlie. Thank God. 
Uh, one other thing I'll point out, I'm using a game controller, Xbox 360 controller for this, because the PC version definitely have bug, has bugs when you try to rebind the keys, so I don't advise it. I've also tweaked the any file a little bit, but not too much. Um, but anyway, I gave you some websites. Uh, you could check that out for information about <laughs> how the labor worked at the time and, and the role of children working from the age of as young as three or five years old. Uh, and dying by 25 in many cases. All you pinch my small. Where bloomers? The loo smells awful. Worse than your room? <laughs> oh, my stories to the children bear strange fruit. Their drawings expose pieces of my mind. I'm going to read the interactive pieces in the normal world aloud, uh, just in case people can't read them, which I could believe happening. Our bed's a mess. Monday's wash day. <laughs> now, one thing, notice here, uh, all these children... Yes, you're not imagining that. They all really do have numbers on them. Plaques with numbers on them that they're wearing. Um, of course, Alice doesn't, but all the children do. What's wrong there? Can't find the door. Now, one of the things I heard in reviews is people, like the professional reviewers and other people, complaining about uh, texture pop in. That's a standard problem with the Unreal Engine. Uh, it's been documented for a long time. Uh, Bioshock, for example, was famous for texture pop in all over the place, and it got Game of the Year from many different publications. So, yeah, go figure. Doctor, do you like still sick in the head? I'm past a cure. <laughs> Terminal condition. Wrong spelling of past there, wrong, wrong form of past. <laughs> but anyway. So I'm just letting you see the environments here. I deserve my bitter tears. <laughs> Want some? Home safe home. Uh huh. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Abandoned toys and worn out shoes have a past, and the people who use them too. My past was consumed by fire. <laughs> 